It's a really important point. And basically, the Traverse trial uh, really addressed the risk benefit use of testosterone. And there has been this long standing belief, like you said, that, and especially cardiologists, they, at least before I met you, um, for the majority of the cardiologists that I have known, they were very anti testosterone and anti-hormones and that seems like that's a bit outdated and it always again takes um, evidence to kind of change people's minds over time but what they found at the traverse trial is that there was no increased risk of heart disease with the utilization of testosterone and i think that there's evidence that low testosterone is a risk for heart disease they have higher calcium scores they have higher risk of diabetes you know all cause mortality is the low testosterone causing those things or is just that the person has so many comorbidities that their testosterone is so low the one thing i sometimes explain to patients is that think about your heart and brain being very energy dense you know they're going to take the lion's share of energy if the body is kind of starting to fail it's going to take away energy from the sex hormone cascade and say like we don't need to think about reproduction right now we need to think about keeping your heart and brain alive Mm. so your testosterone levels are going to be low for now do you think, do you happen to know why they thought that testosterone utilization was contributing to heart disease? My understanding is that it was some poorly uh, designed trials uh, that had shown some potential increased risk. But when they actually went back and looked at the data, it probably was neutral at best. Because of those trials, the testosterone got a black box warning. And many cardiologists, you know, they're busy, you know, they're taking care of, you know, whatever they're 40, 50, 60 patients a day. And if someone says it's a black box, they're like, don't use that stuff. And they Mm. move on. But the more interesting thing is like, why is low testosterone a problem from a cardiovascular standpoint? Most likely it's because when you have low testosterone, you don't have the ability to aromatize it into estrogen. And it's the estrogen for men that's probably more cardioprotective. When estrogen is in more optimal ranges, it helps support healthy nitric oxide levels. It helps support lipid lipoproteins being more optimal. Um, you need the estrogen for brain function. You need it for libido and bone health. So it's the estrogen that's probably the benefit in many of these guys. 